Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. An insane day one of FIFA 22 has transpired and I want to talk about all the insane stuff that happened on the market with people getting on the game for the very first time, whether it was EA Play in a 10-hour trial or the web app. Those were released at two different times yesterday. Whether you got on with the first batch or the second batch, I want to talk about what happened to the market, what's going to happen into today that we learned from yesterday and how I expect that to play out, how we have some division rivals rewards that might mess up the market or I guess you know, bring some supply a little bit and put some coins on the market just a little bit, not a ton. Um, and also how I think preview packs are again, just having a huge, huge impact on this game. So let's take it from the top, a little bit of a preview of yesterday, right when EA Play was dropped. It was 4 p.m. UK time when people started to get into EA Play, downloading the game and getting on their 10 hour trial of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, FIFA 22. This is the team of the week that dropped and they dropped it at 4 p.m. UK. That's big because usually this drops at 6 p.m. UK. Now I don't know if this was just a special time for this team of the week one because of the whole EA play situation and EA wanted to have these cards in packs for team of the week one when they started putting people on the game to the public. I think that might have had something to do with it, but usually the, the team of the week drops at the normal 6 p.m. content drop, 6 p.m. UK. So that's going to be something we'll have to watch for next week in the next couple of weeks to see if EA continues with this trend or if that was a one-off time. But our first ever featured team of the week item is Tony, who I kind of thought it was going to be. They boost him to an 84 rated striker card, which he looks really, really good. And he's actually really cheap on the market. And that's kind of just the mantra for a lot of cards. A lot of stuff is kind of cheap. There's a lot of supply, but I also think there's a lot of coins. And I think as we continue going on through these next couple of days, it's going to be interesting to see how the supply, but also how those coins on the market interact with some of these cards that I think some are, some are a little bit expensive. And I think some are definitely too cheap. So we're going to talk about all of that today. One interesting thing to note is that Holland was not in this team of the week. So of course, people got on the game today. They started packing cards. They started to open their FIFA points, right? If you were on EA Play, you maybe you transferred FIFA points over, you went to the web app and started ripping, or you just started ripping packs on the actual game itself with your FIFA points, uh, and that supplied the market. Now, there are a lot of cards that are extinct. As you can see here, Footbin is fully up and running with prices. Now, usually, Footwiz has prices first, and Footwiz was early today, and they were doing things really consistently, but it looks like Footbin is now up and running. Prices are being updated very fast. Some of them are on like one hour time frames, but most of these, if you click on them, um, are in within minutes, 21 minutes ago for Gabriel Jesus. So what I would honestly recommend is using a, maybe having both Footwiz and Footbin open uh, might give you, so on Footbin, it shows Werner as 59K and on Footwiz, it has him at 66 on PlayStation. So maybe you use a combination of both of these websites for right now until I'm sure for both of them, it takes a little bit of time to get going, to get, you know, whatever calibrating, whatever information that they need. Uh, but I'm a fan of Footbin, but it looks like Footwiz is updating pretty fast, right? Updated two minutes ago. Um, and those card prices do look pretty accurate. So Footwiz or Footbin, they both have prices up and running and they're both cooking if you will. So there were some very interesting movements on the market in the first couple hours yesterday. A lot of cards kind of went down. People started doing SBCs. That was the first thing that I traded with yesterday on the game was I was trading with SBC cards. I was trading with a lot of gold rares. Gold non-rares have a brand new quick sell or a minimum. They have a brand new quick sell value, but also have a new like minimum value where no non-rares are below 600 coins, which is very interesting because that is double what they used to be. Non-rares used to have a quick sell value of 300 to 350 coins or like a minimum price range of 300 to 350 coins. And now they're up at 600 coins. Rares have a price range of, I forget what rares are even. See, this is the minimum for all of these non-rares. A lot of non-rares are like not even selling on the market because uh, 650 coins, maybe they're used for an SBC or two, but they're at minimum price, which is kind of crazy to see. But rares seem to be really in demand for a lot of these SBCs, especially rares from the top nine nations. So what I did yesterday, and one thing I would really watch out for today is watch out for defenders. Defenders from these popular nations, their prices fluctuate a ton, specifically Portugal, Brazil, France, Argentina. These are some pretty good filters. It's very competitive. There's a lot of competition, but 
There were all of the Brazilian and all of the French defenders today were selling at 2,000 coins in the heat of the day. Now they have dropped off in price a decent amount, but people are gonna wake up today and be doing more SBC. So I'm very curious to see if a guy like this Kloss or some of these other, uh, like Nikate, the card that we saw right there. Let me go find him again. Yeah, boom, he just got bought. But some of these center backs, right backs, left backs uh, are very interesting to watch in price because they fluctuate around a lot. So I would definitely look English as well, chill well at a thousand coins. There's plenty of other center backs that get listed up under these filters. That's a really good bidding and sniping filter that has a lot of players underneath it where you can potentially find some deals. Uh, but other than that, the biggest thing that impacted the market yesterday was preview packs. Packs. And I'm not even capping, it was preview packs um, because basically what you saw was, and this is a perfect example, I want to show you this. Phil Foden yesterday was 17,000 coins uh, during like the EA play time frame. He was 17,000 coins, chilling on the market, 17 to 18K. Uh, he went all the way up to about 23, 24,000 coins between the EA play start time and the web app. The web app came out at about 7 o'clock UK time, an hour after content drops. And when the web app came out, there was a ton. The supply on the market was immense. And that was because what you saw is that people that opened preview packs, because everybody who got on the web app, of course, went and opened the free preview pack. And of course, people were making some coins from those because they packed, let's say, like a Phil Foden. They maybe packed like a Lucas. They maybe packed like a, a Gabriel Jesus. Even a card like a Kamavinga or a Richarlison. Richarlison was like 12,000 coins before the web app uh, was released yesterday. And then he dropped all the way down to 8K, which I believe right now he might even be lower than that. Yeah, 7K for Richarlison, who ca whose card last year was like 40,000 coins. Now, I think a lot of these cards are going to go up. Um, and I don't think Footbin's gonna show the graphs of this. This is just, you had to be kind of on to see it. But I just wanted to, again, shout out the immense importance of preview packs on this game. And it's going to happen today. I know there's division rivals rewards. I think that's going to impact the market a little bit. But today, around the content drop time frame, once again, people are going to start previewing packs basically from 4 p.m. UK um, until like 7 to 8 p.m. UK time. You're going to have very interesting moments, especially around 7, 6, 7, 8 p.m. UK. A lot of people are going to re the 24 hour timer on these preview packs is going to refresh and there's going to be a whole new wave of supply. So, in my opinion, some of these meta cards could rise up a little bit more in the morning. As you've already seen some of them rise up, some of them have kind of stagnated in price. I'm worried about a, some overinvesting a little bit. I bought a Spinazzola uh, last night at 14, sorry, at 9,000 coins, and I sold it at 14. What's he doing right now? Yeah, he's like, he's like 13, 14,000 coins, so he's definitely up a little bit. Some cards definitely did rise. Right, especially some of these team of the week items like Vinicius. This Vinicius card when it first came out was um this this card was 90k. 90k and now he's 215,000 coins. We talked about informs being great investments, especially on the high tier. Um, but a lot of cards um either got a little bit rare tonight and went up. I think those could continue to keep going. But also what I want to say is with that supply that I mentioned from the preview packs. I would not be surprised if a lot of these cards dropped again tomorrow with people buying those 7.5K preview packs and putting some supply on the market. So that'd be one thing I'd be very careful of and watch out for. And I think, again, I've been talking about it through this whole entire leading up to FIFA 22. I really don't like holding a lot of things and just you know, holding investments over a longer period of time with these preview packs. There's, good, there's just gonna be tons of fluctuations every single day instead of trying to trade with you know uh, uh, over time like holding a card for a day or two which definitely could still work i'm going to try to trade quick in quick out i bought a lot of these retongans for like 750 to 800 coins on bid sold them for like 12 13 1400 not big profits again if you're on the game right now don't be trying to make five six seven thousand coins per card on these little cards like this if you're on a low budget Look for cards that are under 5,000 coins that you can get on bid and just try to make three, 400 coins per card, but then repeat it, right? The repetitive action over and over and over of me making five, 600 coins per card on these Martinez cards or maybe this Dominson Sanchez or all these other defenders that I traded with today, that is where your money is gonna come in, right? It's it's the quantity, it's also quality, but the quantity of those transfers is really gonna run your profit up faster 
um, rather than, than slower with just trading bigger cards, maybe one card of 20K profit, uh, five cards of 20K profit, you're gonna make more with those five cards because you can com continue to do that over and over and over and over, especially if it's an, it's a, an SBC card. So yesterday was a day full of grinding, full of trading. I know a lot of you guys want to know when to keep, when to sell, right? I still think that for a lot of meta cards on this game, as we look at a lot of these players, Anything that is extinct right now, most of the cards that are extinct, I think are holds, right? I'm a little bit leery about Lacroix. Now, I sniped a Klosterman because Klosterman's price max is 15,000 coins. And to me, if that card is 15,000 coins and this card is extinct at 30, then Klosterman is at least worth around 30,000 coins. Kunde is extinct at 25,000 coins. So that's why I like the Klosterman snipe. I like the Martial snipe at 16K. I like Renato Sanchez snipes at 15K. Militao, I'm a bit unsure on, but I still think it's pretty good. He's like 55K, I think, on the uh, PlayStation, and he's extinct. He's still 43K on the Xbox, but... Uh, those are Real Madrid links to Ferland Mendy. Upamecano is extinct at 15K. Love that one as well. It's some of these most meta center backs that are ex extinct, which is actually going to push up. As long as these guys stay extinct, I just said the word extinct way too many times, that's going to push up the value of other quote unquote replacement center backs in this game, right? So like Martial being extinct, that might make Richarlison, Gabriel Jesus, and Ivan Tony a little bit more expensive because people that want to use Martial can't go and use them. They have to go find another Premier League striker to go put in their team. So a lot of those center backs right now are very, the ones that aren't extinct, some of them are a bit expensive because you have so many of those overpowered CVs that are just, ex, they're extinct right now. And that's causing uh, some other ones to go up in price. So I would 100% keep an eye on that. I don't know how fast EA is going to be updating price ranges today. I really don't. Or if, if it's today, if it's tomorrow, it's probably going to depend on a per card basis. But a lot of these meta cards, higher rated ones like Rashford, Timo Werner, I still think is very cheap. Um, what are some other cards? Messi today was very, he was like 550k. Neymar was under a mil. He's 1.4 now. So he's already started to rise. Sancho was 25k. Uh, Bruno Fernandez is like 140,000 coins. He is now rising. Let me look at some of these other ones that are already starting to move up that I saw. Valverde is up a decent amount. Ben Yedder was 20K at one point. He is rising definitely in price. Conte is 480,000 coins. Goretzka, 259K. Van Dyke, 300,000 coins. Teo Hernandez, the Serie A is still very, very cheap. If you need a starter team, look no further than the Serie A. There are some great, cheap players in that league on the game right now. I would 100, like Ilicic, five star skills, 1500 coins, not the most meta, but like Chucky Lozano was like 3K. Like that's really, really cheap. So I think that the high tier, most meta cards are gonna continue to rise today. Um, I don't think the preview packs will impact them that much. It's just gonna make the, maybe make those cards drop for a little bit, but then rise even further. So that's why I'm very curious to see how the preview packs do impact the market today on this game. Now, if you don't wanna mess with meta and you wanna mess with SBCs, Take a look at the SBC section on Footbin because they now have solutions loaded in for a lot of these SBCs. People are doing these so you can click in like the around the world SBC for the hybrid nations, right? We talked about how to trade with some of this stuff. Let's go down here to the bottom. Some of these Italians, are they really good to trade with? Maybe you look through some of these cards. Maybe Danilo, it shows that he's 6K on the market. Wow, that's kind of expensive. Kulusevsky, 1.5K since he's in this SBC solution. Maybe he's actually going for like 2.3, 2.4K. So I think you can really start to trade with the SBC solutions right now on this game because you're starting to see Footbin and Footwiz pick up some of those and you're going to see people, people get more coins. Like a lot of people struggle to get off the ground making coins day one. So with that being the case, it's going to take them a little bit to get enough coins to go and do a 20K SBC, even if it's piece by piece, one SBC at a time. So there's gonna be continual SBC demand for the next couple weeks, if I'm being completely honest, on this game for the advanced SBC. So you're gonna be able to trade with those cards for a little while. Now, let's talk about one other thing, division rivals. We have division rivals rewards today. I don't really know how much the market's going to get impacted by this. I don't think it's going to be that much. Now, I have not obviously played any games, but if you go in here and take a look at the rewards, a lot of people have probably played what? Maybe two, three, four, no more than like 10 games of FIFA, right? No more than 10 games of P FIFA on their 10 hour early access trial. Maybe some guys have really grinded it. I Everybody's in a different position, right? 
most people are going to be in division 10 so they're going to be getting packs like this small mixed players pack maybe if you're in a different division like division 9 or something you know you're, you're going to have different rewards so i just don't think that the rewards today that come out what is it like um 8 or 9 a.m. UK time, whatever this 5 hours, 26, it's like 3 a.m. Eastern time for me, 4 a.m. Eastern, really, really early in the morning, um, like the normals, normal division rivals rewards time frame. I just don't think that's going to impact the market that much. Now, what I'm curious to see also is, is there a lot of investing? I know a lot of people are always told that you buy cards on the first night because they're going to go up after that. I'm curious to see if players like this Richarlison were invested in, even though his price didn't move that much, I know there's a lot of people that were told to invest on the night one, which definitely is an opportunity to buy some cards and flip some stuff, but some of these cards haven't really risen too much, so I'm wondering if there is going to be any panic selling this morning. I hope there's not, because that would be a sign of just crazy, crazy... Who puts a shadow on Richarlison, man? Excuse me? What? Also, that makes that gives me a good reminder. Start searching for these cards with Hunter and Chemistry Hunter uh, Chemistry Styles and Engine Chemistry Styles on attackers, and then Shadows on defenders. How much does Retrialison sell for with a Hunter? I'm buying that 7.3k. No, it got bought. Oh my goodness, man! How much does he sell for with the Hunter, man? He sells for maybe like 10, 9,000 coins. Boom. So that guy just listed the card at 7.3k, which was near his lowest bin. This Retrialison probably sells for like. 9k as you can see here with that chemistry style on it that is 100 a fantastic way to be trading right now in this game we talked about that in our early fifa 22 trading methods video but that is again a great way to be trading on this game now talking about like content do we expect to see content today sbc wise i would be very surprised if we had a new sbc or a new objective just to shout this out really quick can i go to objectives for a second there are a couple early on objectives that you might want to go ahead and do. Um, and I don't even know. It might be in Squad Battles Mastery. There is a... Um, there is... A, or it's in Foundations maybe. I don't know where it is. But there is a goal or an objective to score 100. Finesse 100. Score 100 finesse goals and you get a 50k pack. You can get this done in 3 to 4 Squad Battles games on like beginner difficulty. Because it does not have to be or any sort of game mode on beginner difficulty or if you want to play a friendly with a friend and just goal city it up. Um, you can get a 50k pack pretty easily if you want to put in a little bit of a grind. I know it's part of your 10 hours, but a 50k pack, it's untradeable. But you never know, right? You never know. So if that's something that you want to go for, uh, that is there as well. That's not super duper hard of a grind. Um, but to be completely honest, I'm not doing a bunch of objectives at the moment. Um I would be, you know, I've been playing Rivals until now. And if you wanted to continue playing gameplay, I would say I would say grind Rivals because the Foot Champions rewards look so good. Obviously, Foot Champions is not starting yet. I don't think it's starting until like the 7th or 8th of October. Uh, but getting yourself enough Rivals points will be nice right away. But even then, Squad Battle rewards don't look as good. But that's the next reward set on Sunday coming up. So after today's uh, division rivals rewards i would probably take a stab at squad battles even though it's kind of boring that's going to be your next reward set unless you're grinding foot draft then you could be grinding grinding the foot draft mode as well for some more instantaneous rewards if you will but again today on the market i would be looking for some volatility i would be looking for panic selling right but i'd also be looked looking to trade with a lot of these meta cards people are going to get more coins and they're going to go out and they're going to spend those coins on upgrading their team, higher tier players, guys like this Foden, guys like this Leon Bailey. Lucas was a card that I traded with yesterday. Um, maybe uh, other examples like Manolas would be a good one. Spinozola, I think, was really cheap earlier today. Richarlison, I would expect to see him go up. So hopefully today, now I'm really curious to see if this supply from the preview packs is going to keep these rises kind of subdued, subdued a little bit. But I also think it's going to put a lot of coins on the market. So as you've already seen with the really high tier players like the Neymar going up, like the Messi going, Messi was 500k earlier today. Now he's 750. I do think you're going to see that high tier continue to just go up and rise in price as people build these teams and buy these cards. Now, some of the lower tier cards that were really hyped have dropped off a ton. This Bellingham was 6k yesterday and Malin 
Uh, where's Malin? Malin was like 8K. Now he's down to 4.7. I think there was an issue with some over investing there and just so much supply from the preview packs. That's why I would try to focus on stuff that is just really meta, really popular, and more of like, you know, something you would upgrade into your team in the next week or two that people will not be getting to quickly. So, that is my opinion of what is going on in this game right now at the moment. It was a crazy day one on the market. It was a solid day for me. I've got around 70,000 coins combined with stuff in my trade pile still selling and uh, stuff that is in my club as well. So it was a solid day one. No FIVA points spent here. Of course, that is how we do things on the channel. But let me know how your day ones went down below in the comments. I know some people had issues getting on. So if you were not able to get on, I'm sincerely sorry for that. Hopefully today you can get in on the action on the web app or on EA Play, whatever, uh, via whatever road, I guess, you can get on this game. But if you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Again, leave a comment if you have anything about yesterday in FIFA. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, boys. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.